Once we understand the individual person with all their complexities, then we can build a new psychiatry from the ground up. My name is Stefan Hoffmann and I'm studying psychotherapy and psychotherapy processes. Heart palpitations, shortness of breath, cold sweats. Diffuse anxiety can be paralyzing and cause extreme bodily reactions. Fear is an emotion that normally ensures our survival, but the feeling can also become pathological and severely impair the lives of those affected. Boston. Stefan Hofmann is researching anxiety disorders and depression. He understands humans as part of a complex social network. We are all networked. We are networked through social media, we are networked through our social um, context, networked um, uh, by our financial markets. Networks are everywhere in life. At the same time, each individual can be seen as a complex network. Our body is a complex network. Even on a genetic level, we can describe complex networks. It is a network of biological, social, and individual influences. A network that can be disturbed. In order to make the complexity tangible, forms of therapy are needed that are as pluralistic as they are unbiased, flexible, and diverse. Because patients are more than the sum of their symptoms. So this is a brand new, fairly uh, dramatic shift away from a traditional way of doing uh, uh, psychiatric research. So we're stepping away from a what I would call a latent disease model, where we would um, assume an underlying disease that you label depression or anxiety disorder or panic disorder. Therapy can be a means of changing the network in order to correct self-perception, behavior, and emotional regulation. But Hofmann also wants to better understand processes at the neuronal and molecular level because the emotional experience is created by many psychophysiological and biological processes. Hofmann wants to show these connections in the brain. The core question is, can therapy success be predicted? During a study on the treatment of anxiety disorder with the help of cognitive behavioral therapy, astonishing discoveries could be made. Before starting therapy, Patients were shown different images of angry and neutral faces and scenes during fMRI recordings. The result? People whose brains showed strong activation patterns as a result of processing the facial stimuli responded better to the therapy. Predicting therapy success significantly through clinical tests, this is a promising approach to make individualized treatments possible underlying mechanisms of um, emotional disorders, uh, understanding the processes through which psychotherapy works, and then to further enhance these processes to predict um, uh, who will respond to a particular intervention, who will not, um, and then to tailor the treatment specifically to the individual needs. It is no less than a revolution of psychology that Stefan Hofmann has set out to create in Marburg. Personalized therapy and specifically tailored medication are the core aspects of his work to achieve better therapeutic success. I'm working on an approach, we call it process-based therapy, that incorporates many different orientations and traditions that also would incorporate biology and ethnic and social and cultural issues in order to understand which processes for this particular individual are important that we need to target. The Center for Translational Clinical Psychology, which is currently being established, can pave the way for the exchange of different disciplines and for the development of a large network. Marburg is very welcoming. They're setting up an environment for me that is ideal. So frankly, I don't think this would be possible at another place. Uh, the Humboldt Professorship is a unique opportunity to do this, to do innovative research that is high risk, high reward. So the long-term goal is nothing short of a redrawing of psychiatry. 